Well, we set up our CNC machine and we designed a little uh, G code uh, pattern that we're running. <laughs> this is so neat. This is Lewis with Rosebud Travels with a totally different subject matter. Has nothing to do with casitas exactly. Except that I can make shelves with it. My kids bought me this for Christmas, and my son is an engineer, helped set it up. We built it and set it as a kit, and we built it, and my son and son-in-law both helped, and they're both engineers, so that helped. Because they know a lot of the software stuff they already know. So I don't have to learn everything like all at one time. This is really cool. Have them helping me do this kept me from pulling my hair out while doing it. So I still have my hair. It's a kit that uses a trim router and it has an X, Y, and Z axis and that's how you notice the bit is going up and down and it's going to a certain depth. That's the Z axis at work and it's cutting the proper depth. And then the X and Y part is the movement side to side that you're seeing and this is all programmed into the file and the machine knows what to do with it and just and translates it into um, making it happen. This is automation for you. And it's all computer driven. This kit is by MakerMade and it's an open source uh, project that has grown in recent years and they, they produced this uh, M2 model which is an improvement over the original model um, and um, it's amazing. Today, Michael and I were setting it, getting the final calibration worked out, and we just finished that up, and it is cutting the pieces that we want, like, exactly the size. It's doing a really good job.
and I'm kind of zoomed in close, but the uh, the whole it's a four by eight platform, so it'll actually cut anywhere on that four by eight uh, sheet. We're just doing a small um, kind of deal we came up with. Michael did this plan in about five minutes and it would have taken me an hour to figure out how the software works, but he already knows, so he just does it. That's helpful. So if you buy one of these, have, a, have an engineer who already knows the software and then it'll speed it up. That's what I recommend anyway. <laughs> Otherwise, you might be pulling your hair out. Even trying to get the calibration of the machine, there's uh, certain steps you have to do, and you have to go through all of it and make sure that you're doing it uh, in the proper order and you're and making sure you're, you know, you're getting all of them. Because if you don't, it won't work. It won't be calibrated right. We're carving out somebody's name, if you can't tell. Somebody we actually know. figures out how it wants to approach this. And it figures out a path it wants to take to cut what you've told it to cut. And it's kind of interesting how it chooses the path. This video is being filmed at the actual speed that we were cutting this. We haven't played with uh, speed rates yet. We probably could speed up speed rate a little bit, but we're new at it, so we, we didn't mess with the speed, but it was uh, set by the fault. The speed rate is the speed at which the cutter goes through the wood. That's what the speed rate is. And you can adjust that. We have a piece of quarter inch plywood we're doing this in. This is our test, kind of our test piece of plywood where we calibrated. We did some 12-inch uh, squares first, and now we're doing something that's a little more complicated. <laughs> Very stylized letter there. It does these curves really well. Yeah, it does. It sure does.
is cutting it out. What the CNC does is it cuts it and leaves some tabs to hold the material in place so it stays in place while it's cutting. And then we had it set uh, to the exact depth of the plywood, but our bit was a hair up over the plywood, so it didn't quite cut all the way through. Uh, so we're learning as we uh, experiment with this, but but it's working really good for him to just cut that with the utility knife. So our thing is working out. <laughs> if you need a sharper one, you can break it. There you go. <laughs> Completed project. See you in the next video.